Hello everyone and greetings from Oslo, Norway. My name is Marta Brandefu and I'm 30 years old. This year it's 150 years since the legendary polar explorer Roald Amundsen was born. And in that occasion the people that care for his legacy have decided to arrange a very special birthday party and a celebration of his life and discoveries. In November a team of five are traveling to Antarctica. This is the awesome team that I'm part of. Mike, Laura and Nigel are from New Zealand whereas me and Bengt we are from Norway. We are skiing from the Ron Ice Shelf uh, that's on, on the coast into the South Pole, the geographic South Pole. That's a route that's approximately 1000 kilometers. And contrary to popular belief, the South Pole is not flat. Uh, the geographical South Pole is actually located at 2800 meters above sea level. So it will be some ups and downs and it will be windy, it will be cold and uh, Unlike Amundsen, we will have to drag all our equipment ourselves. Uh, dogs are not allowed in Antarctica anymore. On the plus side, our sledges are considerably lighter than the Walt Amundsen's sledges was. Ours will weigh, I think, approximately somewhere between 60 and 80 kilos. Where Roald Amundsen sledges, I think they weighed more than 200 kilos, that's why he needed so many dogs. So when Roald Amundsen went to the South Pole, he was gone for many years. We will be gone for two months, whereas we plan to have approximately 50 of those on the ice. At least 50 is the amount of days we bring food for. There is a lot of training that goes into an expedition like this. Normally one would start to train approximately one year in advance. Uh, we only got 100 days from we knew that we were going to Antarctica uh, until departure, so we had quite a hectic summer and autumn. The training consists of heavy weightlifting, some conditioning and a very <laughs> strange activity for most, uh, pulling car tires. That's the closest we get to like emulating the feeling of pulling a sledge. I can promise you that this is an activity that will get you noticed. There are still some similarities uh, between going on expeditions in 1911 and 2022. There are very few <laughs> because the world has changed greatly but one key similarity is that it's still uh, very expensive. You still often need sponsorships to make the ends meet and many people don't understand why you want to go to the coldest place on earth. One of the aims of the expedition is to inspire young people to continue to explore the uh, planet, be curious and care for both the environment and the legacy of the old explorers that went there first. It is the Antarctic Heritage Trust that's given me, Mike and Laura this amazing opportunity to go to Antarctica. If you want to follow our journey, you can follow our blog on their homepage. It's not up yet, it will be soon and we'll post updates as we go on the ice there. Then, it's only one thing left for me to say and that is enjoy the Ruhal movie!